G'day, Harry Houdini here, and if you can't tell from my bloody accent, I'm down under in Australia. Yes, mate. Now look, if you look behind me here, this is what it's all about. Model kits, building scale models. Now I do a lot of this, and there's a lot of videos on boob tube where I'm, you know, doing stuff and doing stuff. But the trouble is, people ask me, Harry, how did you do this? How did you do that? How did you make that happen? And I've got to sort of rummage back through all the videos and find the little piece that's only a couple of minutes long in some great big whopping series. Now it's too much stuffing around. So I've decided to put together this series of tiny little vignettes. Isn't that a great word? It just means little video. It's a fancy way of saying it. Anyhow, these little videos will each have a single tip in them. It won't take long. You just eat a sandwich, you know, pick your nose, whatever. It won't take long at all. Anyhow, here's, uh, here's one you can enjoy. Now, have a gander and tell me what you think. Now, one of the things a lot of guys find really hard is um, painting the wheels, you know. Either they spray paint them all and then have to figure out a way to mask and get the, the tyres painted or, you know. Now, I've, I've always painted them by hand in the past. I've, I've spray painted the entire wheel and then I've just sat there by hand um, with, with my little brush and probably just spun the thing around and hand painted them on, which is, for me was fairly easy, but a lot of people seem to struggle. And I thought, I've got the new spray, um, spray brush, so I thought I'd try some new techniques. Now, I've already sprayed these a nice little German grey, which to me is as close as or as dark as you want to get to black tyres. You don't, you don't ever want to really go black because that always looks ridiculous. In scale, it's going to be a bit diffused. So I go German grey, which gives me the kind of um, muted black tyre look that I want. Plus, you're going to put some you know, stuff on it. Now, look, this cost me a few dollars from the, um, the stationery store. Okay, now there's a technique whereby a lot of people put these put these over and then spray them. Now, I was going to do that, and then I thought, well, that's going to make a god-awful mess. I'm going to have to make a mask around this, and that seems like a lot of work. What if I did this instead? And this is what I did. All right? And the beauty is this mask, I can use it over and over again, and it's going to suit so many different vehicles and wheel sizes. So all I do is put a little bit of paint, I've probably got far too much there, on my brush. And remember, these wheels, they're going to be all covered in bloody mud and stuff anyway, so you don't need a perfect paint job. It's not like you want to spray an absolute glossy coat on them. Is there enough light? Can you see that? Is it even going to bloody focus? These are questions. Okay. That took seconds. And really, believe me, it's, it's fine. It's perfect. At least for my eyes. I mean, these wheels aren't too bad because there's such a lip around them. You can get in easily. Let's do the other side. So, for a few bucks, I've got a stencil here. Whenever I'm doing wheels, I can do as many as I like. And I can do as many colour I like. And this is stopping me from making a god-awful mess. And remember, I'm a fumbly modeler, so I've got to have techniques that allow me to sort of wobble a bit. And there's some other models out there too that, you know, haven't got exactly the the, um, the steadiest of hands. And that's true. I reckon that's, that's mighty. Look, I don't know if the light will pick it up or it'll even focus. But it, it's worked. It, it's done what I wanted to do, which is I just want to paint the inside of those wheels. And that's so easy, okay? And if I get a little bit on, there shouldn't be any on the back. Well, it shouldn't go through because I'm holding it down. Um, it's 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 a wonderful little mask and it's a great little tip and technique. Now, plenty of people have done this, I know, but usually they spray it on. And I was thinking, well, you know, I'm going to waste a lot of paint spraying, it's going to make a god awful mess. And these, these wheels have got such a nice little lip on them that um, if you had a steady hand, you could probably hand paint them. But what I have done here, have you noticed, is I've done it backwards. I've painted the tyres and then I'm painting the rims. Well, that's opposite to what I normally do. Normally I'd spray paint all the wheels the colour they need to be and then I'd hand paint all the tyres on, which is quite a lot of work. And, and you know, you rely on the profile of the tyre and the wheel. But look, how <laughs> easy that is. Okay, there's another one done. And uh, 
Hopefully it looks okay. To my wobbly eyes it does. It's really not that hard. It's such a joy. So I thought I'd just share that with you. Well, what did you think of that? There you go. That's a little tip, isn't it? Now, if you have any questions, just put them in the comments section. If you've got a better way of doing it, let me know and then I can improve my work. Because it's all about sharing, it's all about learning from each other. And if you need to see the longer version of things, I've got complete playlists on every build that I've ever done. So, you know, all these buggers back here, you'll probably find them somewhere on my channel. Alright, or they're coming up soon. So there you go. Subscribe, enjoy, like, comment, do whatever you like. Anyhow, for me, it's Harry Houdini signing off from Australia. Hooroo! Mm -hmm.